I've been pretty busy for the last month or so working on a birch bark canoe build. And while I've been doing that, Kathy's been taking care of our winter food needs. So she's done an amazing job. We've got a number of gardens, uh, four or five gardens in total. And um, she decided to experiment this year with um, some of the potatoes. So in this particular patch, she's, she's heavy mulched it, or we've heavily mulched it. So it gives it both a growth medium for the potatoes, but it also will retain water from the sky. It's been an excellent year for waterfall. So the skies have provided us with the right amount of water at the right time. We haven't had to irrigate the garden yet. Uh, but things are coming pretty good over here. We we have asparagus that we have yet to harvest to taste. So we've just uh, we've let it go to its fronds. And this year we doubled the amount that you see. Uh, it's not up through the ground yet. So uh, a couple of years we're going to have a really good asparagus patch. Wee bit of history. The oldest known asparagus patch in the world now dates back and it's documented. It's almost 190 years old in England. So once you get these bad boys established, you've got, you got food for a long time. Anyway, we're going to take a look over here at, at another garden, and it's our traditional method of growing potatoes. So we're taking advantage of all the space we can, as did our ancestors. So when they moved to the New World, it was forest, and they gradually cleared. They cleared to build their house. They cleared for gardens they cleared for pastures and wherever they could find a patch of ground big enough to grow something they planted it so our strawberry patch it's it's pretty much done now we do have a few blossoms left but the the critters seem to be eating more strawberries than we are and what we've done in this garden which is our orchard uh, but for a few years because we've got space until these uh, apple and pear trees mature we we have space to grow stuff so traditional type of uh, potato planting. We've hilled them twice now. We'll hill them once more. And we're gonna see how that compares to the mulch uh, process that Kathy decided to experiment with this year. Anyway, on to some more gardens. So I'm doing one final pass through and C Kathy's done two, perhaps three passes uh, snipping off the scapes. So uh, when you snip the scapes off, uh, the mo all the energy will go to the bulb, the actual garlic bulb, which, which is what we want. So there's a number of uses for these. You can pickle them. Uh, you can make pesto out of them. You can eat them straight up. Uh, absolutely gorgeous aroma to them. Uh, what we have in the little nursery over there is, is we let the, we leave a few of these on the plants, let them go to a head, and there's literally hundreds of seed. Start the seed, get a tiny little garlic bulb, the following year you plant those cloves, and then you get the garlic that you want for your, for your storage and, and consumption. So, yeah, this is a, a great crop this year, and it's looking like we might have somewhere in the neighborhood of four or five hundred bulbs, the same as we did last year. And over here we have, basically, we call it our winter storage garden. So aside from um, some early cabbage that we've planted here and some beans, uh, we got beans planted everywhere. Uh, we like our green beans when they're fresh. But these are an earlier cabbage, so these two rows will be sauerkraut, and that'll give us about a five to an eight gallon crock full of sauerkraut for the winter. We have parsnip planted over there. These little tiny guys here, this is a really good um, keeping cabbage. So we planted them quite late. They're pretty small now, but we want them to head out um, sort of October. And they're not big heads, but they're very firm. And that variety we put in the root cellar last year, we were still eating it at the end of March. So an amazing keeper. And let's see, over here. So what we've got here are onions, obviously. We've got a few rows of carrots. We've got some beets. Uh, and then over in this garden, we've got uh, rutabaga, two rows of rutabaga, one planted a little earlier than the other. And then fall storage potatoes, which we're, we're into the first, second week of July, I guess. And we were still eating potatoes out of our root cellar last week. So we ate them all winter. Uh, we, they gave us our seed stock to plant this spring. And we just finished our last ones the other day, and we're right on the cusp of getting new potatoes. In fact, we're getting a few from our neighbor now who got his potatoes in a bit earlier than us. So 
This is going to be an awesome garden, and I can take very little credit for it. Kathy did the bulk of this work. Anyway, I'm going to go back and work on my canoe now. <laughs>